Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you're not able to install the Windows 11 version 25H2 or 24H2 in your Windows machine. Now, the first step to resolve this issue is to run system file checker and DISM commands to repair your corrupted system files on your computer. To do this, you will have to open the command prompt. So you can type, go to the search window and type command. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to go ahead and execute the command to run system file checker. And I will also mention this command in the video description. You can either copy and paste the command in the command prompt or you can type it manually. And the command is SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter to execute this command you will have to wait until the command has been 100 percent executed you will see the status on the screen once the command has been 100 percent completed or executed the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute or run on the command prompt window is to go ahead and restore health the dism command to restore health can do copy the command from the video description and do a right click and that sh that command should automatically paste hit enter this will go ahead and execute the command to repair or to execute the dism tool to restore health wait until this command has been successfully executed once this command has been successfully executed you can close this window restart your computer and then try to check or try to install the windows update and check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved well and good you don't need to try the next step now the next step to resolve this issue is to restart windows update related services such as app readiness or windows update and background intelligent transfer service to do this, you will have to open the services window. So you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. This should open the services window on your computer. Once you have the services window, the first service you will have to locate is app readiness service once you have located app readiness service you can do a right click and then click on properties make sure the startup type has been set to automatic in case if the service is stopped you may click on start click on ok once this is done the next service you will have to locate for is windows update do a right click and then click on properties Click on start in case if the service has been stopped. In my case, the service status is running, so there's nothing to change. What you could also do here is once you have highlighted the Windows update service, you can do a right click and then click on restart just to make sure that the Windows update service is up and running. Once this is done, the next service you will have to locate for is background intelligent transfer service. It would be in alphabetical order. Once you have located background intelligent transfer service, you can do a right click and then click on properties. Make sure the startup type has been set to manual or automatic. Once this is the startup type has been set to automatic, click on start in case if the service status is stopped. Make sure the service is running. Once this is done, you may click on apply and then click on OK. Go back to the background intelligent transfer service, do a right click and then click on restart. Make sure the service is up and running. Once this services has been reset, you may close this window, restart your computer and then try to install the Windows update and check if your issue has been resolved. Now all this step should definitely fix the problem. In spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, the next step to resolve this issue is to run Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings page, you may go ahead and click on system. And then on the right hand side, you may click on troubleshoot. Once you're on the troubleshoot, click on other troubleshooter. 
This will give you the list of inbuilt troubleshooter which are available on the computer. In this list you will have to locate for Windows Update. In case if you have used Windows Update troubleshooter in the past it would show up under most frequent otherwise it would show up under other. In my case it is under most frequent. Click on run. Follow the step by step instructions on the screen. Basically what this will do is this will try to identify if there are any issues related to your windows. It would try to fix the problem by itself. Once the all the steps has been executed, you may close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. Now all this step should definitely fix the problem. Now in spite of trying all this step, if you're still facing a problem, the next step is to use media creation tool to install these update. To do this, you will have to go to a media creation tool website. I will also mention this link in the video description. Once you're on this website, you will have to locate for create Windows 11 installation media. Once you are on this location, you may click on run. This will download the executable file on the computer. Once the download is complete, you may double click on it. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once the download is complete, you may double click on it and you will be prompted for the end user's license agreement. Once you accept the end user license agreement, you will have to go ahead and select the language and edition by default you would have English and United States as a language. Click on next and then you will be prompted to choose which media to use. You may go ahead and select ISO file and then click on next. On the next window, you will be prompted where you want to save this file. You may click on save. Basically, it would go to the downloads folder. Now it would start downloading Windows 11 on your computer. You will have to wait until the download is complete. Now this depends on the of your internet connection. Once the ISO file has been downloaded, you may go back to the downloads folder and double click on the ISO file and that should open the path. You will have to double click on setup and then you will be prompted if you want to proceed with the installation. You may click on yes. Now here you will be prompted to, you would get a prompt saying ready to install. Now by default you can go ahead with the existing settings which would have Indo keep personal files and apps. Now what this means is this you will not be losing any of the data from your computer and you can click on install now. Once you click on install now it will proceed with the Windows installation. Wait until the installation is complete. Restart your computer and once your computer restart, go back to the Windows update and try installing Windows update. Now all this step should definitely fix the problem. In spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.